Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel and part seven in the series all about my DIY Project 9 Modular Analog Synth. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be having a look at what modules I've got on the second panel on the synthesizer. Um, first of all, there's a, a Vactral VCA. Now, they were the subject of the last video I did, so we'll consider that one dealt with. There's an envelope, an AR envelope generator. I'll explain what AR is and what envelopes are in a little bit more detail um, later on. But the third and final module in this panel is what I've labeled a, a patch bay, which is basically just a way of sharing a signal across several modules on the synthesizer. Um, so what we'll do, we'll probably whip the panel out and have a look at uh, what, what's behind the frontage, have a look at what the various controls are. And like I say, I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail about the uh, circuit and how it works on the uh, envelope generator. Having done all that, we'll then have a listen to what kind of effect these modules can have when processing the signals on the Project 9 modular analog DIY synthesizer. So yeah, let's move in a bit closer and have a look. This is the panel in a bit more close up so we can actually see a bit of detail. That's the Vactrol. As I said earlier, that's taken care of in the previous video, so we'll ignore that for this one. Um, the patch bay is probably the, the most simple part of this. Um, we've got it labelled here in 1, out, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 and then in 2. The reality is, and we'll just have a quick look at the back in a second, but the reality is that those four sockets are just simply all joined together in series, in a, in a kind of a chain if you like, and those four are. So although that's labelled in and the three out, you could actually go in and out of any of them. Um, this was just a, a kind of a convenient way of, of tracking where the um, patch cables were going. Um, just made life a little bit easier for me. If I actually ignore the envelope for a moment, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. But if we have a look at the the back of the panel, these are the sockets. And you can see they are just simply daisy chained with all the tips joined together and all the grounds joined together. So those four are joined together, those four are joined together. So essentially I've got two four-way patch blocks. The thing about the, the patch bay is that, that they're not buffered. So one of the problems that may occur by simply wiring them together like this is that um, if you've got signals that aren't very well balanced, they one may dominate and may start and they may start interfering with each other. So what you get out might not be a clean mix of what you put in, but that in itself can create some interesting effects from time to time. But it's it's just very very simple. Um, right, the envelope. Now this is where things can get a little bit more complicated. If you look at something like a commercial synthesizer that has a, a full-blown envelope generator on there, um, it'll probably be labelled ADSR. And now ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. What does all that mean? Well, here's a graph that hopefully explains it. What you can see on the graph is that there are the four phases, if you like, of the envelope shape. Attack is, and it's all to do with with voltage, the level of control voltage against time. So if you see on the attack phase, what we have, we start with the control voltage, you know, it, for, for say, purpose of the graph at zero, and then there is a a period of time it takes for that control voltage to rise to its peak. Once it hits the peak there is another period of time that it takes for that voltage to decay to a sustained level. 
and then the sustain period of the graph is the period of time that that level, that sustain level, will be held for and then the release is the time it takes once you let go of the key for the control voltage to drop back from the sustain level back down in the case of this graph back down to zero. So that's an ADSR envelope. What we've built here on this panel is an AR envelope. So we have gate signal in, control voltage signal in, out, <laughs> sorry about that, gate signal in, the control voltage is the control voltage that comes out once it's been shaped by the envelope. So that's that's the control voltage from the graph. The gate is just basically a, a, a signal going in that, that puts a voltage in which is then modified by the envelope. Now on, on this one we've got attack and release. So we don't have a decay and a sustain phase. So if we look at the graph for an attack release envelope, what we see is the front end looks very much like the ADSR. So there is a period of time that it takes for the control voltage to reach its peak. But what happens here is while ever we hold the key down on a, on a keyboard or, or we, we uh, the period of time that we are uh, holding a, a, the control voltage on a, a sequencer, then it will stay roughly around that peak. Once you let go of the key or move the step on the sequencer, what you will have is a period of time, which is the release phase, that it takes for that signal to decay from its peak back down, in the case of this graph, to zero. So the controls that we have when we go back to our panel here is we have um, the attack, so we can the rise time to the peak and we have the release so once we let go of the key we have the decay time back down to zero. What's the circuit look like? Well the circuit is pretty much a fairly straightforward op-amp circuit. It's very very simple. I'll put a link in the description to the, uh, to the design of the circuit. Um, so it the the design is, is uh, I've, I've done a strip board layout as well from the circuit design and I'll put the strip board layout at the end of the video so if, uh, if you wait for that then you can see how I put this one together um, but it, there's very few components it is a very simple design um, and yeah it just runs on the single rail 9 volt um, this bit down here in case you're wondering that's that's the Vactrol, so that's the bit that we're ignoring in this video. So there you go, that is um, an AR envelope and the patch bay. What do they sound like when they're wired up into the uh, synth itself? Well, let's go and have a listen. Okay, I'll talk you through the patch for this demonstration. So I've got the uh, output from the 555 VCO going into the Vactral VCA. The output from the Vactral VCA is basically going through the mixer and into the audio. Um, CV is provided from the key step into the 555 and then there's a trigger from the key step which is going to the gate in on the envelope generator CV from the envelope generator is CV out on the envelope generator is going to CV in on the Vactrol. So in this configuration we've got attack and release turned right down. So if you remember the diagram that I put up earlier with an attack and release envelope if I just hit a key You can hear very short attack, very short release. If I hold the key, it will play as long as I hold the key. 
key. Let go. There you go. So, what do the controls do? Well, let's turn the attack up. I hope you can see there's a, a bit of a delay there. In fact, I can demonstrate that. If I hit the key really quickly, because of the time it takes for the control voltage to rise, because I've now slanted the attack, um, remember the graph, if I hit it very quickly, nothing happens because I'm not holding the voltage long enough for it to rise up the attack ramp. As soon as I let go, because the release is very short, it stops. Okay, so put everything back to short again. Alright, and if we now turn the release up, you can see, hopefully, once I let go of the key, it keeps going. So I'm increasing the release time. And as I've shown in the graph, if I hold the key down, it will keep playing. And then once I let go of the key, the release time curve will be allowed to decay the sound. So I turn the envelope slope up a bit and then okay so that's the envelope and very simple but when you get it in put it into a sequencer and those sort of things it starts to get really interesting okay so that that's envelope what about the patch bay what did we say we could do with that well Let's try and share the envelope signal. So if I take the CV out of the envelope and put it into the patch bay instead, I can then come out of the patch bay, go back to my Vectral, so still got that, but if I now take the output and put it, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the VoxWar module because that has a, a CV controlled uh, kind of filter sweep and so I take the CV signal into that and share, so what I'm doing here I'm sharing the envelope signal with the VoxWar and the Vactral VCA so if we turn everything right down now if we turn the release up turn the attack up So what we're doing there, we're now sharing the same envelope signal between the Vectrol and the filter. They're all very simple, they're just simply connected together. They are, in fact, pretty much one of these things, but in a panel. There's it in a different different colour, but again, it's just a multi connector. There's no buffering, no processing. Just just all the sockets connect together as we saw on the back of the panel. So there we go. You know, the, the patch bay really is just soldering sockets together. So that's really simple. And the envelope generator in this design is is a pretty simple, straightforward one. And yeah, you can get some really interesting effects out of it. So. You've got all the information you need. Go on. Have a go. Build your own.